Today I explain to you how to do a sand cast. Of course there are many ways to do a one sand cast, but I will try to explain it in a very easy way. Yes, like one cast like that, exactly like that. Oh, not like that, this is very complicated and you can be able to do when you will learn the first step. Okay, chain, chain, okay, this, this, exactly that. Uh, I will explain, I will try to explain in an easy way, I will try to divide the elements of the castle, like a tower, the battlements, the roof, the spire of the roof, and uh, after that you can be free to use it, uh, of course, with your fantasy, in a different way to combine all the castles that you want. We can talk about the tools. Of course, we can use a spatula, uh, better with a sharp corner, like that. This kind of tools, very pointy, like that, in metal, and this is square to make the window. Of course, the mini spatula like that, also very sharp in metal. I use it for this castle, a very good uh, sand. I was in close one lake, and this sand was a little bit silt inside. Uh, very fine and clean sand. Of course, the beach sand can be a little bit different, but in many places, in America, Europe, and Asia, you can find exactly the same quality of sand, and you can do what you want. Okay, we can start now. <laughs> Oops, I forgot to tell you that I use it a wooden form to compare the sand. It's like that, you see? It's like what? Two pieces of wood, or also four, that you use, I can show you better, that you use for um, compacting sand. It's an easy way, but in this video I will not explain exactly this system because I already made one video that you can check in all my videos. Okay. Now we can go to work, right? Like I said before, you can use your wooden forms to create many towers. And now you can add the wet sand on top of the towers to create a roof. If you proceed in this way, like to make all the components of the castle separate, you can have much more control of uh, each element, like a tower, the roof, the battlement that I show you later, the roof. In this case, you can do uh, better, more precise, and everything can be more clean and perfect. Okay, I cannot say perfect, but much better, instead of making your castle from one uh, unique piece of sand and you can use your spatula to finish the shape. You can add the spire, again made of very wet sand. Can you give it a round shape? And then you can finish it off with a spatula or with a mini spatula.
now we can add the dormer which is a window on roof it is like uh, adding many simple geometric elements you can add as many as you like and make a very elaborated tower you can use the spatula to give the dormer the final shape You have seen how what I'm doing is very clean and regular. It would have been very difficult to make what I'm doing from a single block of sand. Perhaps the roof would not have been so symmetrical. The inclination of the roof would not have been the same on each side. By making one element at time and gradually, adding something you will always have control of all the shapes and at the same time your construction will be more and more complex and now last part of the spire you can add in top of it uh, also one little ball or one mini mini spire or what do you like You can also add mini spires to the four sides of the top of the tower. And now the windows. You can use your mini spatula to do the windows. I recommend you to finish always the top part of the castle and after you can go down. In this case uh, everything can be much more clean and perfect. See how I make the window? First I use the mini spatula and then the smaller tool, the one with the tip. I show you again. Now we will make the protruding part of the towers where we will then place the battlements. With the spatula draw an horizontal line on the top of the tower and dig all the sand below this line as in the video. You have to make a small cut diagonally. And then remove the excess sand like in the video. good to remember that when you cut the sand with your tool you must always proceed 
with the direction of the cut from the outside to the inside. In this case, from the corner of the tower towards the center of the tower. Never do the reverse or you will destroy the corner of your tower in this case. Finished this part, we can make all the windows. These windows you see in the video are very simple windows, but I will make more videos where I will show you how to make different types of windows, much more elaborated and impressive. I really like the windows, uh, they beautify the castle a lot, but actually in the middle ages in the castle and fortress there weren't many windows, especially on the towers of the castle's perimeter walls, otherwise the enemy could pass through the windows. But we want to make a nice castle and uh, we will take some uh, liberty to make some changes. Once the windows are finished, let's move on the making the blind arches. They are very effective and are quick and easy to make. You can do them with a mini spatula or with the smallest tool. Finished the blind archers, let's move on the chapter of the battlements. Make a flat, like a horizontal area, take some very wet sand and with a spatula make a square shape like in the video. And now, with your spatula, cut your block of sand into slices, like in the video. Create many small cubes, carry it on the tower and place them as in the video.
I suggest you play the battlements at the corners first, then the center one and finally between the center and the corners. This will make it easier to play them all at the same distance. I will show you later how to make the door. We can make the two towers in front of the castle. They will be the towers on the sides of the main gate of the castle. We pile up the very wet sand to create the two towers. In this case I will not use the formwork method to compact the sand, because this sand is very good. If the tower begins to lower, it means that the sand is too wet. You can use dry sand to dehydrate the tower. This problem occurs only with quarry or river sand, not with the sea sand. And use your spatula to give the final shape to the tower. Add the roof using very wet sand and with your fingers apply the sand slightly overhanging the tower. This spatula smooths everything. Finished the two towers with the wall between them, always with very wet sand. Follow what I do on the video.
the main door with a smaller stool and with a spatula hollow out the door starting from the center. Once the door is finished, apply the battlements as you have seen done before. Finally details and your castle is finally completed. And now let's go to get the magical spatula Expatulur. Today I will make Camelot. Add the little volumes in the top of the tower. With the spatula finish the shape. Add the little roofs and the little elements. Finish them with the spatula. Add the spires. With the mini spatula make the windows in the top part. Carve the frame in the old towers. Now with your mini spatula make all the windows of your castle. With the smallest tool make the blind arches in the frames. Cut many little cubes to make the battlements. Make two cylindrical towers in front of your castle. Connect them with the wall and finally the main gate. Don't forget the battlements. Excalibur. Excuse me. Expatulur. Let's go to the Camelot Castle. Hello my friends, let's have a drink. <laughs> 